Okay, if you're watching this video, you know what this is. Windows Media Center, and you are probably familiar with a folder called Public Recorded TV. You also probably have that folder filled with a bunch of TV shows and movies you've recorded over the years that end in extension of WTV or the older version, DVRMS. And you're probably wondering, what are you going to do now that you know that Media Center is end of life? So I'm going to go through uh, the tool I use to convert all of those WTVs to MP4s. Now, if you have seen one of my older videos, I have in the past have used something called MCE Buddy, but I have switched over to this video redo. Yes, this is a hilarious web page. I know it looks totally cheesy, but this stuff actually works. So why bother working on a web page? Who cares, right? So, anyways, uh, do the free trial. Try the TV suite, and you can see it has uh, all all kind of options. You don't need to do the the plus version. The idea here is that we want to easily convert a whole bunch of WTV's uh, files into MP4, and um, so I'm going to walk you through a little bit how that works and what it looks like and why I like this one. Okay, so you can see that video redo, and I'm going to go to this TV suite five now. I liked the trial, I finished the trial and I decided to buy it. It was a hundred bucks, I know, but um, you'll see, I think, why it was worth it because I had a ton of shows. I'm still recording shows, I'm just converting them, okay? When you open up um, the, the actual app, TV Suite, you know, it's really nothing great here. I'm going to open up a video, a Seinfeld episode, and go from here. Uh, it's, it's nothing great, this actual piece. Um, you know, you can set endpoints and, and, and cut out parts, pretty typical stuff. Um, you cut out the red is what you don't want, so forth, and I'm just kind of kind of blow through a little bit of this. Reason being, the key thing that is cool about this is it has a very good uh, com skip or add detective, I think is what it's called, and you can set this, and it'll go through the whole show and remove all of the commercials. So you're probably saying, "Hey, MCE buddy was like this too." True. Okay, so very similar to MCE buddy. But this, I've gotten better results quality-wise, definitely, okay? And the other piece is coming up here I'm going to show you is this, uh, it comes with um, this uh, v VAP, it's called Video Redo Auto Processor. And it basically allows you to batch up um, multiple videos. You can see here I'm showing kind of the com skip uh, stuff and how it marks that up, so who cares, right? The key thing that I really like about this, and we're going to get to this, is this... Um, VAP, this Video Redo Auto Processor. Why I like that is because I got a ton of shows. I also am constantly recording shows and I can just move them into a folder and it batches all of them up and, and processes them. Um, you can see here I got a couple of Seinfeld episodes. It finds them and I can, you know, I have uh, different folders. I can say where to go and all this good stuff. The key things really is are, are that I'm going to uh, auto do the auto commercial skip for, for every episode, okay? Um, you know, I can just show you, where is it gonna end up? That type of stuff, no big deal. I also can, you know, select from a ton of choices what I wanna convert it to. So I'm gonna do, you know, the, uh, and then, and then, and then here's some advanced configurations. I can, it, it will rename the file. So if you know Windows Media Center, it gives you this stupid naming convention of the name and the channel and all kind of other crap. But this, I can do name of the episode. It'll read, it'll read the metadata, name, season, series, episode, whatever, all this stuff. And then it comes out really nice looking. So you can see, I'm just going to go hit start the processing and I'll kind of fast forward to the end result. The end result is uh, if I go to this output batch out file, you'll see I have all these MP4s and they're organized uh, by the you know season and the ep season number, episode number, and then the name of the episode. It's a really nice. Uh, I'm going to open this up with Windows Media uh, Player. Um, it's a little choppy because of the desktop screen capture software I'm using, but you can see the quality is great now. With that, this file size is still pretty big, so that's the only downside. As you know, Media Center was always like uh, 2 gigs or 3 gigs an, uh, an hour show, um, so this doesn't really make it any smaller. Media uh, MCE Buddy did make those videos a lot smaller, but the price you pay is... Um, quality. I think this has got great quality. The batch process is awesome. So I know the website looks ridiculous and you think I never want to buy anything from this place, but it actually works really well. So that's my two cents. Hope it helps.